AI squared. Hello! We're back! We're back! It's been a really long time. It's been a really long time. How long has it been, John? Well, I don't know. I was actually gonna look up our last video and see what we were it in David's old little came house. Out. No, were we? Yes. No, no we did we his did house. Things. Yeah, we did a few in his house. Yeah, it's first it yeah. was like, we should do one once a week, and then I was like, well, if we miss a couple weeks, it's whatever. No big deal. Then Such it's a big like, fan base, though, well, it's been like a month, maybe we should do one, and now it's probably been, well, it was summer, it was hot, so it hasn't been a year. I mean, I think I did like one while I was pregnant, maybe two, so it's yeah. probably been about nine months. A child. She had a child. I'm a mom. Mom life. So that's. I did fun. not. Well, you've had three. Goals. Well, actually, no, you haven't. Because technically, Johanna had them. Yeah. But, uh. So I was thinking about how long it's been. And ages and ages and ages. Yeah. And I was relating that in my brain to Cuba. Because it's Cuba. been. Ages mm -hmm. and ages since anybody from the U.S. Since has been over there. they've had a Cuban cigar. Oh. Wow. That too. I've never had a Cuban cigar. Yeah, I can't say I have either. It's all right. But, Who's according to on? news sources, the last time a U.S. president went to Cuba was in 1928. And according... Did just go there? Yes, he just went. Okay. And according to another I source, yeah. 1928 was when whatever president it was went to Cuba, like, via an aircraft carrier. Right. So it was not exactly peaceable. But things are changing. It's pretty exciting. How are they changing? Well, I think they put the embargo in place, like, 60 years ago or something. Man, this fire is toasty. Yeah, I'm like, my apple's about to fall and hop into the pit of lava. This side is great. This side is on yeah. fire. Yeah. Well, Just not quite, so literally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so the embargo happened, I'm and they're like, off. no trade, can't come visit. Tourism is still off limits, by the way. That's kind of a bummer. They're working on it. So um, no Cuban scars. Right. But you can now it's legally all own them. You just got to get your cousin Fredo to My cousin ship Fredo. Them. Yeah, she's got Shout a cousin. Shout out to you, cousin Fredo. Uh, but now, I guess what Obama's doing, basically, is making legal the loopholes that were in the embargo. So there were always loopholes, but nobody wanted to touch it because it was, like, nobody liked Cuba, nobody wanted to bother Don't fixing touch stuff. Yeah. Don't touch Yeah. touching them. So now he's like, okay, we're going to make this legal officially instead of just like, well, the embargo didn't really cover that. So if you're a journalist, if you're an educator, you can go. I can go to Cuba. I think you have to have been an educator for the last five years. So you got a few more. But and you then can I can just it. go there. Yep. Or and just like or, get a private jet and go there. Or yeah, well that'd be sweet. Or wow, that sounds weird. Or for a religious celebration. A Could Cuban? make something happen out of that. Cuban religion? You see it? I don't. I don't know. It doesn't yeah. specify. I don't know either. Could we just like hop on a plane and be like, "Hey, we're gonna celebrate Easter in <laughs> Cuba," because why not? Yeah. Cuban cigars really help with Christian celebrations, so right. That's we need to go there saying. and get some. Mm -hmm. And also it's worth a shot. teach people. Right about Easter's. Yeah, essentially a mission trip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just disguised. Mm -hmm. With bunnies and birdies. Right. But I kind of wonder what it would be like. Because the people who have gone are like, yeah, it hasn't changed in like 50 years because communism and everything. But. Side note. Yeah. Have you ever eaten rabbit? I don't think so. Yeah, me either. I think that'd be kind of fun to eat on Easter. Like, ha, 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 you rabbits, I'm eating you. 
Instead of biting the chocolate ears off bunnies, you could bite off the real ears of bunnies? I don't think that's the part that you eat. Oh, okay. Just like a bite of the mushy belly. Probably. <laughs> How about a thigh? I've, I've heard that smaller animals like squirrels and rabbits are actually really tasty meat, though. Yeah. Here's a question of the day. Have you eaten tiny squirrels and rabbits? And are they That's tasty? just rabbits because Easter's well, right. coming up and it's relevant. Yeah. I think squirrels should get their own holiday because, I mean, if bunnies have one. Chipmunks too. Yeah, equality. The chipmunks. Hard. The chipmunk squirrel. Okay, Easter's not actually a rabbit's holiday though. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Also, do we need to take a break? Oh, yeah, my child's crying. We'll be back after these messages. We're back in. Here we are. Once again. Do you know how many times I've been thrown up on in the last 28 days? Yes, yes I do. Stop counting. Oh. But it's a lot. It's a good answer. It's pretty fun. It's a nice stench to just always have. I love it. So we have no idea what we were talking about Something before about that Cuba. slight break. Slight. Very slight. For you, it was like a second. Not even. Not even. Because we'll edit. Because editing. Modern technology is a good thing. It's a very good thing. On a side note, we're both plaiding. Yeah, this was accidental. Also slippers. Yep. Okay. <laughs> it's a good time. You we, probably we still... wanted to know that. Yeah, well, they did, for sure. Um, so I don't, you know, when you do a YouTube channel with someone, you just, you get to know each other. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, start to twin. You start to twin, even when there's a nine month gap. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. This is fun. It's like Cuba. I really don't know if we're funny or not. You know, just, that's the thing. Are we funny? Probably how's, not. How's Cuba? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're done with Cuba. So I did a little. Oh, oh we're, we're not done with Cuba. Okay. Nope. No. Did you do some research? Well, I just found out that it was Calvin Coolidge in 1928, and he really oh. did show up on I a battleship. I should know my president. He showed up on a battleship. Yeah. He's like, "Here's what's up. We're awesome." Pretty wicked. Nobody came back to Cuba. So I looked up something this morning. Ooh. I looked up. Random things to know okay. in, about the current thing, life events <laughs> of the world. Wow. And I found this thing, and it says scientists in the UK asked the public to name their new two hundred ninety dollar million polar research ship. Okay, and they expected the name to be like the name of an explorer or something. They like put a bunch of options or whatever. And the name that got the most votes, and guess what it is? Do you think it was like a serious name? Probably not. Well, it wasn't. They're funny people. And the, the name that got the most votes was Bodie McBoatface. And so now this like multi-million dollar <laughs> boat, they actually have to go with that name because that's what everyone voted for. And like their server crashed because so many people voted because they weren't going to vote for like Man. Shackleton, the explorer. They were voting for Bodie McBoatface. Bo Bodie McBoatface. Humanity. And I love it. I would rap on that shit. Maybe when I go to Cuba because I'm a teacher, I can ride Mo Bodie McBoatface. Okay. Sometime. So wait, what is the boat and what does it do and why? I mean, I didn't really look at that type of oh, stuff. Oh, okay. They just named uh, the boat Bodie McBoatface. It's a research. It's a $290 million polar research ship. So it's just a new, like, they've... Oh, for the poles. Okay. I gotcha. Not for the poles. Poles. Polar. North Pole, South Pole. Oh yeah, I thought you meant like for voting. I was like, it's got nothing to do with Trump, man. Okay, mm -hmm. Gallup poll. Um, yeah. So. What do you mean? Everything has McDonald's. everything to do with. <laughs> I know he had to come up, right? He had to come yeah. up sometime. Trump will come up. He's Trump, after Hopefully all. Hopefully he goes Trump. away, but he will come up. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Should we do some tweets? Yeah, we could tweet, tweet. Let's tweet, tweet. It's tweet. been a while. So. Um, I'm going to start with at chooch, C-H-0-0-0-C-H. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is very true for me. Any tiny dot on my floor is a spider until I've stared at it for one hour and determined otherwise. 
Like so many times it's like a piece of lint. So you're not I'm even so... going to approach it? No. Nope. Like... Nope. I, I have to make sure it doesn't move for a good solid amount of time. Not always an hour, but for real. Like if I see something on the ceiling or like a piece of lint. Oh my gosh. It's the worst. Yep. I take my wife in an Instagram video of a really grainy video like in a corner with a broom and it's kind of dark. And then all of a sudden a spider about no, don't. that don't big around. <laughs> Comes racing no! up the wall with big glowing eyes and it's horrible. <laughs> I actually feel like throwing up. I simultaneously wanted to like die and laugh and cry like all at the same I, time. Like I didn't know what to do. That's the main reason I don't think I could travel like in other countries and stuff. I no yeah. spiders. Cold weather for me, man. Ugh. Okay, my at, skin is crawling. Uh, at the weird world. Imagine being deaf. And finding out that farting actually makes a noise. <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> All this time, the silent killer. Nope. Oh man, embarrassing. Yeah. At the underscore Michael Scott. I don't think this is legit, like actual Michael Scott, because there's a lot of him on Twitter, but it's pretty funny. Well, apparently in the medicine community, negative means good, which makes absolutely no sense. That is weird. Isn't that weird? And it's so true. Like, Michael's got, got it on point here. Yep. So, like, he probably went to the doctor and they told him that something was negative, a test was negative, and he, like, thought his life was ending because he thought it meant positive. And I've definitely done that. Like, I struggle with that too, Michael. The Office is a good show, by the way. It is. I've been rewatching that in my hours of sitting with a small human. Oh, okay, here. so here we go. Here's one from At The Funny Teens, one of our personal oh, favorites. Love them. Yes, we love them. If I got a dollar for every time I thought about you, I would start thinking about you. <laughs> yeah, that could have gone anywhere. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay, all right, that's good. Money I... is a great incentivizer. Mm, that's a great word. I like it. At Caleb Zerke. Ooh, we know that guy. I often go back and like my own tweets that never get any attention. It's fine. Hashtag positivity. I mean, if the pros on Twitter can do it. You can too. So can Caleb. Caleb really, yeah. Like, and he's in Redding, California, so it says that. And it's like, man, you're just so cool. So I liked it. I liked that tweet. Mm -hmm. You know? It's a likable tweet. It's like, did you notice that they're like, Heart He's a likable guy. Did you notice heart shoot out when you like stuff now? It's like an, a firework explosion of love. Yeah. You didn't read that. That what? one about the new Facebook oh. emoji things. What do you think of the new Facebook emoji things? Yeah, so Facebook emoji things are a little bit dated, but then again, we haven't had an AI in a while. So there's a lot of ground to cover. It's only been a couple weeks, hasn't it? <sighs> I want to say it's been a month, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Uh, let's find it. Anyway. Uh, at Meladoodle, I believe, tweeted this tweet. Yes. The new options on Facebook look like the life cycle of every relationship I've ever had. <laughs> like, so, starts out with yeah, love, right? So it's like, and then it's love, and then it's, ah! And then it's, and then oh, it's, no. Uh, oh, poop, and then it's crying, Jeez. and then it's anger. <laughs> so legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We should like do an AI sometime where we just progress through those. We just start out so happy. Might be good. It'd be pretty funny. Well, we've we've reached our limit. It was a struggle today, but we reached our limit. Yep, gotta get words. back in that grind. The words have spoken, Ben. They've been there. The words. <clears throat> Sometimes. We should turn the camera off, probably. Yeah. It was really nice to know you again with our words. So what did we cover? We covered Cuba. Cuba. We covered eating small animals. Eating those small animals. For Easter. Eat the Easter animals. Yeah. Celebrate Jesus instead. And some cool tweets. And Caleb in Caleb. California. California. Lots of alliteration. Also today. a small crying human. Right. Thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. This is Artificial Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Signing off. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.